Hello everyone, it is Hannah, your sparkling spectrum light. Happy Friday, I am shooting this on a Friday morning. And uh, yeah, hopefully everyone's been able to get through their week and you know, taking care of themselves. Um, I know, feel like, like a, there's a lot going on with a lot of people. So hopefully this video will just kind of brighten your day. And um, this is just a regular whip and chat. Whip starts for work in progress. And chat means I'm just chatting with you. And uh, today I'm actually really excited because um, Katie over at Diamonds and Washi tagged me in some questions that um, I was like, ooh, those, are, those would be fun to answer. So it's a diamond painting tag that's going around. And so yeah, I was tagged and thought it'd be fun to answer some questions. So before I get into that though, um, a couple of tools that I'm using. First of all, the canvas I'm working on is this beautiful Jaded Gem Shop canvas of The Last Supper. It is 40 by 180 centimeters, so this is definitely a piece that's going to be taking me a while, but so far I absolutely, absolutely love it. It's just, it's bringing me so much joy, and the detail in it is just, it's just really making me happy. So I'm working on this beautiful canvas by Jade. Um, my accessories tray, I had this custom made from Amazing Craft, and I will make sure to link all these below because I just, I do, I love all these small shops and they're just fantastic. So here's my beautiful Last Supper tray that was made by Emma. Her work is just absolutely gorgeous. So there's my tray. Uh, I'm going to use just some strawberry lemonade patty wax, which I absolutely love just for that little kind of summer smell still, which is nice. Uh, and then I'm using Aloha Rose Mud. And with Rose Mud, 100% of her proceeds go to um, charity. So make sure you check out Rose Mud. Tray that I'm using is my fun blue tray from Bijou Bliss Designs. I love these trays. They have a magnetic stopper that slides in and out. It's got little magnets on the side, goes in, and then the lid also has magnets. So as you can see, there's little magnets on the corner and it just sticks right on and your lid doesn't come off. So I really like that. And then the pen I'm using, I'm going to use my Lazy River wood turning pen. Lazy River also has diamond paintings as well, so I will make sure to link them below as well. But I love this. This is a wood hybrid pen, and uh, it's just really nice and light, and I just love the colors, and I thought it was a really fun pen to work with. So, all right, so these... Um, uh, crafting questions, I was tagged in by Katie over at Diamonds of Washi, and then she had been tagged by Michaela Renee, who originated these questions, and so I will make sure to link all that below. And uh, I was really excited because that's another now new creator that I'm following, so I will make sure to link uh, Michaela Renee's stuff uh, because she actually does adult coloring which is something I'm kind of slowly getting back into again. So I was like, oh my goodness, that kind of works out perfect. So, all right, we're gonna start off with some 310. So I'm almost done with this whole second, no, third row. So this is the third column I've been working on. And how I'm sectioning off, only because this canvas is so huge, um, there's no way I could like section it off into a little square. So I'm just sectioning off columns and then I peel down the plastic as I work down the column. So that's how I'm working on this piece. Um, just because, yeah, I don't think I could section off a five foot piece. I think that would probably take all the washi tape that I have. <laughs> so I'm just sectioning it off by columns and then I work my way down. All right, so let's get into these questions here. So I have them on my phone. All right, so the first question, and also, guys, as I'm answering these and you're watching, um, feel free to answer any of these below. I would love to know 
uh, your answers to all these. So feel free to comment below any answers to any of these questions. So, all right. So the first, whoop, I didn't even get a diamond there. There we go. So the first question is, how many diamond paintings have you completed? Uh, believe it or not, not many. Um, I just have been diamond painting a little over a year. I had started diamond painting in April of 2022. And so with that, I have only completed about six diamond paintings. So not many, I'm, I'm getting there though. And I think part of it is because I typically work on very big canvases, but yes. So long answer to a simple question is six. I have completed six diamond paintings. How many diamond paintings do you currently have in your stash? Um, I have, based on the ones I just ordered, or the one I just ordered and got here, uh, I have right now 31 paintings in my stash. So more than enough for a very, very long time. Will that stop me from ordering more? Absolutely not. However, <laughs> I do try to keep things somewhat manageable. Um, I can't imagine really going much more than 30 at a time. I think, I think 30 is a, for me, that's a good number. Um, just so it, it doesn't get too out of hand and I still have uh, a place to store them. So uh, 30 is definitely, or I know 31 is definitely my number. However, I will say I do have two on the way that I ordered um, a while back ago. Like one's a custom piece and the other is um, uh, another piece, uh, so yeah, it'll probably be up to 33 sooner than later. <laughs> All right, uh, number three, when did you begin diamond painting? So yeah, so I kind of um, stated that earlier. So I began diamond painting in April of 2022. I had recently been diagnosed as autistic. So I was a very late diagnosed person, which is um, kind of uh, becoming more of a thing with my generation, um, you know, women in their mid thirties, uh, they're finding more of us uh, are autistic and uh, very thankful that I was able to go through testing and evaluation. And yeah, so with all this new information, I was kind of looking for something that I could do while processing kind of all these new um feelings and processing all this new information and I gave diamond painting a try and just totally got hooked on it so yeah so April of 2022 all right uh if you could only purchase from one diamond painting company for the rest of your life who would you purchase from and why oh man like I wish I could give you a straightforward answer, but there's just too many companies that I think are so amazing. And each one of those companies has something different to offer. So, I mean, so far I've ordered from Dreamer Designs. I've ordered from Diamond Art Club. I've ordered from Craftably. I've ordered from Jada Gem Shop. Um, I've uh, ordered from Distracted by Diamonds. And I don't think there's any way I could just pick one of those because they all have something different to offer. Oh gosh, I've ordered from Lazy River Diamond Painting. So yeah, and each one of them has something so cool and unique to offer that I don't think I could choose just one because I love all of them and I love just all the different types of art they feature and things like that. So yeah, unfortunately, I cannot give you a straight answer on that. I will just have to say I would still order from all of them. <laughs> yeah, no way I could choose just one, unfortunately. All right, let's see here. Um, when diamond painting, what is your go-to media to consume? Audiobooks, podcasts, YouTube, etc. 
Um, yeah, really pretty much all those. I would say YouTube is a big one. Um, I really try to listen to other creators, other whipping chats. Um, you know, sometimes I'll work and lurk in a live if someone's going live. Um, the other thing that I like to do is um, really just put on an old movie, like a movie that I know really well, almost kind of like a comfort movie where I don't really need to pay attention because I already know the whole movie. <laughs> like the other day, for example, I was just in a mood where I was like, you know what, I just need something kind of mindless to watch as I diamond paint. So I put on Billy Madison. <laughs> Like just, just stuff like that. I just like watching things that I really don't have to think about or, you know, if I'm listening to a YouTube whip and chat, it's like I can actively listen, but I can still uh, solely focus on uh, the, the piece that I'm working on. So that's typically what I like. I would love to try audiobooks, but I just, I'm weird. I don't, I don't like listening to other people read aloud. <laughs> It's just a weird quirk of mine, but I'm not, I'm not a huge fan. So yeah, just kind of everything as far as YouTube with creators and then um, just really those mindless movies that I kind of already know everything about that movie. So it's like, I can still listen, know what's going on, but I don't have to like actively pay attention, so to speak. All right, what is your favorite category to diamond paint? Ooh, um, that's really a tough one because I like a lot of different types. Um, I would say Old Masters is, like as you can see, Old Masters is definitely something I love. Um, but I also love pieces that are I would say kind of more whimsical not and I and I think there's a difference I think there's a difference between like whimsy and fantasy so I typically go for pieces that you know are kind of more whimsical um and yeah so I would say that so there's not really a specific type that I like to however I will say if I have to choose between even maybe like a more whimsical piece and an old masters. Most likely I'm gonna choose the old masters. That typically is kind of what I gravitate to the most, I would say. All right, what is the artist, or I'm sorry, oh yeah, what is the artist you have completed the most diamond paintings from? Um, honestly, because I've only done six, uh, there is no particular artist that I have, uh, you know, finished the most of, so to speak. Um, I've done a Jasmine Beckett Griffith before. I've done a Mandy Manzano. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I really, I really can't, um, choose one yet because I really haven't finished enough of them. So Yeah. Uh, what is the artist you own the most diamond paintings from? Um, let's see here. The most, I, I have a few Simona Candini's, which I really like her work. Um, I have a few Cheryl Baker, which I absolutely love. I have a couple of hers. Um, I have a few uh, Enos Guerrero's as well, just because... I've, sometimes I really like to gravitate towards more of that dark, uh, almost like kind of like tragic type of art. Like I think Enos Guerrero's paintings really tell stories in my opinion. And then with Cheryl Baker, um, I love that she, she, she very much reminds me of like Beatrix Potter and those old type of illustrators, which I've always loved. I was raised with um, Beatrix Potter Tasha Tudor, those types of illustrators. So I, I do love Cheryl Baker's work. And um, I think probably also um, just kind of, again, that whimsy of Simona Candini, so to speak, because um, she just, uh, some of the things she comes up with, I think is just really, 
really cool and there's sometimes like these cool pop culture references that she can she can refer to and uh yeah those are probably the the artists i have uh the most of honestly are those three so yeah enos guerrero cheryl baker and uh simona candini uh okay what is your go-to wax when diamond painting um, I typically probably go a lot. Um, I use patty wax a lot. So I, I do use this. They're just big old bricks that last forever. They smell really well. So probably patty wax and, but then I also use putties and probably, yeah, the putties, honestly, I use the most are, are rose mud. So those have kind of been my go-to ones uh, for about a year now when I really started falling down the rabbit hole of like all the different waxes and putties and accessories. Um, but uh, that doesn't mean I don't want to try others. So, you know, that's always on my list. I always have a list of, you know, new shops and, and new products that I want to, that I want to try. But yeah, Rose Mud and Patty Waxer kind of the ones that I've been using for the most part. All right, let's see here. What do you do with with your finished diamond paintings? Um, so right now what I do with my finished ones, because again, I don't have that many, um, is they are hanging up like on a clothes rack I have attached to my wall. Um, so it's kind of really nice. So I can still see them and there's plenty of room for more. Um, I have one that I do have framed in my uh, craft room. So yeah, either I'm kind of hanging them up or I've got them framed on the wall. Like this piece though, this one that I'm working on because it's so large, um, I do have a place uh, in my dining room where it will be going once it's all finished. Like this one's gonna be matted, framed. I'll, I'll probably do, um, you know, the whole shebang with it, just because uh, this one is so uh, intensive. <laughs> All right, um, do you like to open your kits right away or do you keep them sealed until you are ready to work on them? Um, I typically do open them right away. <laughs> like I do get really excited. I don't kit them up all the time but I do open them right away just because I do get really excited. I do want to see just the canvas and yeah, I just, unfortunately, I just can't put them aside in a box and um, just leave them. I, I have to open them and see. And then the other part is too, typically like if I do an unboxing, I'll, I'll film a video of it. And then I usually put it, I, I'll usually put it back in the box after. But yeah, I, I have to open mine right away because I just, I'm not patient and I have to see what it looks like. <laughs> uh, what is your number one unicorn kit that you currently do not own but hope to one day? Um, You know, I really can't think of any that, it's like I do have some that maybe I'd like to have, but they're not, like they're not difficult to come by. So I wouldn't really consider it a unicorn per se. However, um, let's see, there's, you know, honestly, probably the one that I, I guess would be considered a unicorn just because I don't believe it's in production anymore is uh, I wouldn't mind Afghan Cat from Diamond Art Club. I think that one is just super cute. I, I love cats, I have three of them. And the Afghan that it's on, it honestly kind of reminds me of uh, my grandmother because she used to make those and my, my great grandmother did as well. So I guess if I had to, um, if I had to pick one, I, I would say Afghan cat. Like that that would be a nice one to have in my collection someday, for sure. All right, let's see. What is a kit in your stash you are most looking forward to working on? Uh, really, honestly, this one right now. This one, I just have really been enjoying the process. It's really given me 
uh, a challenge as well because of how big it is. And so, yeah, I mean, definitely uh, the Last Supper from Jade right now. I like this one was a kit that uh, I knew I was going to immediately kit up and start working on and kind of use it as a just a long term project and just um, steadily work on it. Surprisingly enough, um, like it's a little more muted and everything, but I'm still just absolutely enjoying this process right now. And I think I needed this painting at the time too. I think that's another thing. Like it's hard to choose which kit you're going to do next because I think it all depends on kind of where you are in life and what you're feeling. And that's typically how I choose what I'm going to do next as well. It just kind of depends on, you know, like what's going on in my life right now and what do I need to work on to, you know, just bring me that little bit of joy. And I think this, this kit right now is, is definitely doing it for me. All right. Ooh, gotta get the next question. All right. Let's see here. Um, oh, okay. Do you prefer confetti color blocking or a mix of both? I like both. Um, I think there's, I think, uh, the, Color blocking is is kind of nice just to, you know, it does make things progress a little faster. But I think the confetti, you you have to have it to kind of keep it interesting. And then I'll even kind of go further that it kind of depends on what type too. Like I prefer color blocking in squares because I multi-place squares better than round so that's kind of another thing too if there's a lot of color blocking in rounds uh believe it or not i kind of like that a little less than squares because for some reason i multi-place squares uh better than i do rounds <laughs> not sure why that is but it just yeah it's just kind of what works for me and uh yeah that's just kind of how i do things all right uh, how do you pick which piece you want to work on next? So yeah, kind of like what I answered before. Um, I think it just really depends on how I'm feeling and what I'm trying to get out of it. So I kind of use diamond painting as really kind of a type of therapy and uh, uh, being able to just kind of disconnect from my head, so to speak and just really focus in on, you know, an image that maybe brings me peace, maybe brings me um, just joy. And so that kind of is how I choose my next piece is I really have to evaluate how I'm feeling and what I'm looking for uh, to just help me get that disconnect and to be able to just solely focus on a piece of art. So yeah, that's kind of how I choose. I know it kind of sounds maybe kind of weird, but that's, yeah, that's definitely how I choose. I really don't go by seasons or events or anything like that. I'm just kind of like, you know, this is what I'm feeling. I think this is what I need to focus on. I'm going to choose that piece. That's kind of how I choose. All right. Let's see here. Number 16. Uh, what is your favorite season or holiday to diamond paint from? Um, let's see here. I definitely, I mean, I do love fall and Halloween pieces. Those are just, I always have fun with those. I love Halloween. I'm on, I'm an October baby. So October is always like my favorite month of the year. And um, just fall, Halloween, all that good stuff is always really fun. So I I probably that, but you know, I also love I love Christmas ones depending on what they are. Um, but I also love it, you know. Uh, winters here in the Midwest are pretty brutal, so when that's when spring and summer come along, I am all ready for that as well, and ready to do like some more kind of summer themed kits or something like that. So. Kind of again, it just kind of depends on my mood. But um, I guess, again, though, if I like had to choose one category or one, you know, season or holiday, 
probably Halloween, most likely. All right, do you work on one kid at a time or have multiple whips at once? <laughs> So I, I'm laughing at this because uh, for those of you who uh, have been here for a while, uh, you all know that, yeah, I have way too many whips. Um, I'm currently at nine whips right now. So yeah, so for those who are new, um, yeah, unfortunately, I yeah, I, I work on way, way too many whips at once, which is probably why I really barely have any finishes this year but uh yeah that's just kind of how I roll I like to swap out paintings and again really just diamond paint for what I'm in the mood for and what I feel like I need in my life so yeah multiple whips for sure <laughs> too many but it's probably not going to change anytime soon <laughs> all right um neutral dark pieces or colorful pieces um, I think both, honestly. Like, this is definitely more kind of muted tones, neutral, but I love it equally as much as, say, uh, Jewel of the Sea by Hannah Lynn, which is, you know, a super bright, colorful uh, piece. So I really like both of them. I think, again, it just kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for and what I want to work on. I will say... Uh, when it is like winter time here and everything is just really gray and bare and just kind of like, eh, I will typically try to gravitate towards more colorful pieces just to kind of get me through that, that, you know, kind of stale part of the year where you're just like, oh, there's like, there's nothing to look at. So I'm going to look at a colorful diamond painting. <laughs> All right. Um, Large pieces or snack size pieces? <sighs> so all my pieces are large. They're, they just are. They're huge. I go for really, really large pieces. Um, I want to do more snack sizes, and I probably should because that would allow me to actually finish a piece. But I do typically gravitate towards huge pieces <laughs> so yes mostly large maybe eventually I will do a snack size but right now it is just it's just all large huge pieces in fact uh <laughs> one of my friends uh basically said like yeah you go for quilt size or blanket size canvases <laughs> which is probably just probably true <laughs> yeah Unfortunately, I, I do. I tend to go towards the very large pieces and I regret nothing. <laughs> All right, um, let's see here. Place diamonds with tweezers or a pen. I wouldn't even know how to start with tweezers. I think I would really mess it up. So it is pen all the way. I definitely like to use a diamond painting pen versus tweezers, because I feel like tweezers, I would just, yeah, I would just really mess it up uh, pretty good. So definitely pen, as you can see me using one. I like this pink color, guys. This is really pretty. And I know like I could be multi-placing here right now, but again, I'm just kind of enjoying the single placing right now. It's just kind of fun. All right, uh, squares or rounds? I like both. I like both. I like multi-placing squares more. However, as far as, you know, squares or rounds, uh, I, like, I like both of them. They're, either one is fine with me. For me, it really just depends on the artwork. So if I happen to love that piece of art, and it's a round, then I'll do round. And if I like that piece of artwork and it's square, then, you know, it's time to do some squares. What is your favorite method for placing AB drills? Uh, AB drills, I do like single placing them just because I don't know why. I just think they're just fun and sparkly and I like to enjoy every single AB drill that goes down. So probably single placing and I typically use, 
uh, well, I use, I use wax or putty. Like I'll put wax on my single placer or putty in my single placer and just, yeah, individually place each AB. I don't know why I do that, but I don't know. I just enjoy the process and I love AB drills. Anything with a little extra sparkle always makes me really happy. All right, next one. What is your preferred method of sectioning off a canvas? I think it depends on the canvas. Um, I typically will section off with washi tape. I'll just do, you know, squares. Um, however, like with this one, that wasn't gonna be possible, so I just section off by columns. Um, I have done release papers before, and I actually really liked them. I just haven't done that in a while. So I'm really not particular with how I section off things. I just kind of, it kind of just depends on really the, the painting and, and things like that. Like now for a mystery kit though, I would probably use release paper. So I think that depends too. It depends on the painting and just kind of what you're feeling, I think. A lot of different ways. All right, um, what is your, oh, okay. Do you have any other crafty hobbies aside from diamond painting? Uh, yes, I do. I tend to, so I'm one of those people who kind of cycle through hobbies. Um, so let's see here. I, I have done resin before and, you know, maybe might cycle back to that again. Uh, I have a, a Cricut, so I've done projects with my Cricut before. Uh, I used to sew, like I was actually pretty good at sewing, so I've done that before. Uh, so yeah, I just, I have a lot of crafty hobbies. I'm kind of starting now to get into coloring, so I've been, you know, doing a little more of that. Um, but yeah, so definitely a lot of different things. I just kind of cycle through them. I think the only one that I've been really consistent with is diamond painting. So like diamond painting, I think is still number one, but then like I'll add to it. I'm like, okay, well maybe I'll do a coloring page or maybe I'll work on a resin craft or something like that. So yes, I definitely cycle through. All right, um, I think that's it. I think that's the end. Oh, okay, and then yeah, the last question is who do you tag for this video? So, um, I would love to da tag uh, Diamond Shines with Shanta. Uh, I love her videos. I think she's an awesome creator and um, I just really enjoy watching her stuff. So I definitely will tag her. And then I will also tag Brie with uh, Painting with Pities and love to hear her answers to all these questions. These are good questions too. So I really enjoyed them. Um, I'm typically with those people. <laughs> I love answering questions because for me, it's just a little easier to facilitate conversation. <laughs> so I always enjoy it when... I don't understand. Oh, Siri was talking to me. Um, yeah, I definitely enjoy uh, answering questions. They're kind of fun. I'm just one of those people. But yeah, so that's how I'm just going to use this whip and chop for today, guys. Um, so it'll probably be a little shorter than what's usual, but I think that's okay. I think we'll, we'll be all right. And um, for those of you who caught my live yesterday, uh, thank you so much. I really want to... Uh, have lives more regularly. So I'm definitely in the works of really planning that out. Like I really admire the creators who like put out their schedule and I'm just like, oh, I really need to do that. I need to be better at that because I'm one of those people who thrives with the schedule. And it's funny, I schedule every other aspect of my life, but I don't schedule like my content uh, creation. So I'm like, I should probably do that and really have more of a kind of set schedule so people know what to expect. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be working on that. So September coming up will be a year since I started YouTube. So I'm just like, okay, I'm going to get some more things organized before September. Um, another thing is for, and also, um, I 
do want to give you a heads up. First of all, um, I cannot thank everyone enough for subscribing and liking. Um, I did hit a thousand subscribers, which is just, um, it's just awesome. Like I, I'm still honestly processing it because it just wasn't something I really expected. So just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, just really, um, I would not have this channel without you. It's, and I, I've said it before, but there really isn't. There's, there's not a channel without subscribers. And so just thank you so much for that. And um, believe me, I am definitely working on a giveaway. I definitely want to do a thank you giveaway coming up soon. So I'm making sure I plan that. I would imagine I'll probably have it by the end of the month uh, as a special thank you. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It will be coming up in the next couple weeks uh, because, again, I just appreciate just everything so much. Um, it's just, yeah, it's I'm just oh, I'm constantly overwhelmed by this community, like in a good way, though, you know, where you're just like, wow, there's just so many good things happening in this community and there's so many good people in it and uh, it really is for me it is a just it's a privilege to be part of it and I really do uh, appreciate everything that everyone's done and uh, welcoming me into this community and uh, yeah I definitely want to make sure I'm paying that forward and, and and giving back so so stay tuned for that because Definitely think a giveaway is absolutely necessary, just as a small token of my um, appreciation, for sure. So, yeah, but really, um, that's really the, what's going on right now. Um, definitely let me know how you all are doing. Uh, again, feel free to answer any of the questions that I just did down below, like, I'd love to know how many whips you're working on, uh, who's your favorite artist, what type of diamond paintings you love to do, um, and that would be super fun. So yeah, feel free to answer any of those questions and comment below. So I, you know, I love hearing what you guys like to work on for sure. So um, yeah, so we're going to stop there. I know you didn't really see much here because I was single placing, but uh, we are nearing the end of this column my goal is because i don't get to diamond paint every day uh my goal is to hopefully finish this little section uh by the weekend and then i'll have you know i'll have one whole disciple done <laughs> so anyways hopefully everyone is doing well uh, i really hope you're taking care of yourselves taking care of each other um like always just thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. Uh, it is always very, very uh, appreciated. And uh, yeah, hopefully this video brought you a little bit of joy. It always brings me joy making them. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.